Hey everyone, Ronnie Rowe here again this week for another rendition of my YouTube video on cross stitch. Ronnie Rowe designs cross stitch. Um, like to welcome each and every one of you back this week and hope you've had a great two weeks. I know you've been outside doing a lot of things like I told you to get outside, put the stitching down some. Um, I've done that. I've tried to be out. I've tried to go outside and worked in the garden doing swimming. Same things we talk about every week. But um, I am welcome each and every one of you back and glad to have you with us. Hey, we've got some uh, new subscribers to my channel this week, I see. And uh, I'd like to welcome you aboard if you'd like to go back and look at some of the older YouTube um, uh, videos I've done. I, I encourage you to do go ahead go and do that because on some of those past videos I have actually gone in and showed you how I go about uh, coming up with the design and the process using various programs to go and um, come up with these designs and how I manipulate a lot of things but I think you'll find that interesting if you haven't seen it so uh, I, I encourage each and every one of you to do that. Um, as far as design works, not hard to do. Anybody can do it, really. Um, just a little talent, a little bit. Yeah, not, not a lot of talent, because I don't have a lot of talent. But um, I can seem to come up with some things uh, every once in a while. But anyway, before we get started, I want to uh, ask each and every one of you to hit the little subscribe button, if you will. Um, appreciate that very much. That will help me and uh, also give you a notification when uh, I do one of these videos. Uh, this tonight, we're not going to do a long video. Got some things to go over. Um, yep, got my teleprompter and, uh, you know, my sheet of paper uh, to tell me what I'm going to be doing uh, this evening. Uh, I'm going to talk, talk about an art show I went to this uh, past two weeks. Uh, a uh, picture a lady sent me that actually won a blue ribbon. Wow, I think that's fantastic. Uh, PDF files and my new design Orleans where I am. So uh, that's what I like to cover this evening. And uh, I hope you'll find it interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, Art Show, what have I been doing? My wife's birthday was uh, July the 19th. And so my son gave uh, her and I tickets to go to Virginia Beach to see a very, very interesting art show. It was called uh, uh, Immersed in Van Gogh. And what this was, this is a traveling art exhibit, not any of the actual art by the artist Van Gogh, but um, it, it had a lot about his life and it really was a... Um, pictorial thing that you actually immerse yourself into some of his paintings and works that he has done uh, uh, in his lifetime. Uh, very, very interesting. It was about an hour and a half show we went to. We went over to Virginia Beach, which uh, uh, is not too far from where I am at the convention center. Very, very interesting show. And that is traveling all over the country. I know it was in uh, Washington, D.C. not long ago, and it made its way uh, south here to um, Virginia Beach. And uh, I don't know where it's going to be going next, but you can look that up. It's immersed in Van Gogh. Very interesting, uh, not overly expensive. And uh, I think if you went to something like that, if you like art like I do, uh, I highly recommend something like that if you, uh, if you, you have the opportunity to go, go to one of those. Um, the Blue Ribbon. I had a uh, lady, Sue Walsh. She uh, sent me uh, a really nice letter and sent me a, a picture that I'm going to be showing you here momentarily of um, a Blue Ribbon, one of my black and white she did, Market Square Tavern, that she actually won a Blue Ribbon. And uh, uh, she did a great job of uh, stitching this piece and also having it framed up and uh, won a ribbon for that. And I'm always excited to hear about someone who gets my patterns and enters them into um, uh, art show or contest or ever, ever, ever what media there is and uh, actually came out and won it. And so I, I find that really, really good. And I'd like to congratulate Sue. She, she did a fantastic job on that. And uh, 
I know she's very, very proud, and I'm very, very proud of her. So if any of you have something like that that you'd like to send me, and uh, I'll show it on this uh, channel on the YouTube that I do, uh, please uh, feel free to send me something, and I will put it out there. Um, what else are we going to talk about tonight? PDF files. I've gotten some requests from people who have bought my patterns and ask me, um, because normally I don't sell PDF files. I sell some on YouTube on on YouTube. I sell some on SD that you buy the PDF file and you can download. And I've got not all of my designs, but uh, I do have a few out there. Um, but I do have PDF files for everything that I have really ever done. So if you have a, a design of mine and would like a PDF file for that particular design to help you with the stitching and uh, to getting through these uh, designs, uh, just contact me and I'll be more than happy to furnish you with a PDF file. And uh, I know it's easier some sometimes to use that than it is the actual piece of paper. You can print those out yourself or maybe blow them up and crop various sections that you're working on. And uh, it does make it easy to somewhat. Uh, none of my designs that I know of are, are comparable to Pattern Keeper because of the way I develop the design. That's the whole process that I go through. It's not from a canned program per se that I do my designs. And so they... Um, uh, it's just not comparable with that. But you can get that PDF file, like I say, and crop it in various ways. It, it does help with the stitching. So anyway, I uh, uh, encourage you, if you would like one of those for one that you're doing right now, um, I will send that to you. Um, now, I guess, I, I guess I'm sitting here thinking, you know, uh, if somebody if somebody contacts me and says I want a PDF file of everything you've done, well, we we we'll have to look into that. But anyway, we'll we if you have bought a pattern for me and have a pattern, I'll I'll certainly work with you. Um, what am I working on right now? I have been working on the same thing since the last time we talked. Orleans, um, Orleans, as I've told you in the past, is uh, a new one that I'm doing. Uh, it's a big design, 400 by 320. It's got five colors in black and a 762. I think it's the lightest gray and the three shades of um, in between that light gray and black. Um, I've got a lot of stitching done on this. I'm still working on it. I'm working on certain areas at the bottom that I'm trying to get it to come together. Um, it's a, a very complicated design. And um, I think, I hope you're going to like it. I had one lady, I had one lady made a comment. She can't wait to get this design. And uh, I'm certainly, uh, I certainly plan on getting it to her. Um, so anyway, let me show you where I am on. Now, bear with me because this is all of my stitching on this thing. And where I am on Orleans, right there. Hope you can tell where I'm going on this. This part right here, I'm finishing up in here. This is all the iron work that's going to be coming down this side here. Uh, obviously, you're going to have a street scene uh, coming back down in here, going backwards. Um, so anyway, for right now, that is where I am in Orleans. A uh, lot of stitching. Like I say, this thing has five colors right now, five shades of gray and black and the 762. But um, it's taken me quite a while. Uh, you can see this right now. It's taken me quite a while to get where I am right now. And my best estimate is probably here we in the first part of August. I'm I'm thinking October. October time frame is when I probably um, hope to complete this and then um, go ahead and frame it all up like I do all of mine and move on to the next project. Um, next one, I got several things in the works right now that I'm interested in. Uh, I told you I'm, I'm going to get back to what I was going to do 
on the opera. You know, I told you I had that, and I do have that all finished, but I haven't stitched it yet. I'm working on, I'm working my way through it. Now I've got a mill that I want to do and um, several other things. So I've got some things in the work. Um, one thing that uh, I do, several things I do have in the works right now, I've gotten several orders from folks that want me to do some custom work for them. And so I've been doing that. I've been sitting down and uh, drawing things out, getting the pictures that they have sent me and coming up with ideas. And we've been talking back and forth to the customer until we both can uh, agree on something and something they really like. And so I've been doing some of that work right right now also. Um, other than that, I've been talking to Jules, my good friend, Julie over at Stitching with Jewels. I know she's doing well in her new job and going full bore ahead with her designs. And she's got right many things out there. Um, a lot of new stuff. She's got a lot of new patterns out there where Ronnie Rowe, he doesn't have anything new out there right now. So I'm, I'm slow. I am just slow. I'm, I, I, <laughs> but one thing that I do is before I put them out, I stitch them. And so I'm doing a lot of stitching. That takes a lot of time. And so uh, at nights and in between the garden and everything else going on, going to art shows, uh, that's um, pretty much what I've been doing. Hey, I had something happen to me this past Friday evening that um, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to figure out the chances of a bunch of a bunch of friends, my wife included, and bunch of friends at the Y, we decided to go to a uh, restaurant in a venue called Gloucester, Virginia. It's a small restaurant. It's kind of a diner thing. We were all going out to lunch. And um, in order to get there, you have to go across the York River, which flows into the Chesapeake Bay. And there's a big bridge right there, the York River Bridge. It's called the Coleman Bridge, if you want to look that up, Coleman. And uh, it's a drawbridge. And uh, the Yorktown Naval Weapons Station is at one side and the opening to the Chesapeake Bay going out into the Atlantic's on the other. So periodically this bridge uh, opens up so the ships can go under. Well, we um, all left. I got my truck and uh, so went over to the restaurant, had a great meal, good friendship, a lot of conversation, really good. And so when we left, we got, I got my truck my wife and a friend of mine, Tom, from the Y, um, we proceeded to go back. And when we got to the bridge and got up on the bridge, uh, there were signs flashing that the bridge was going to uh, be opening for a, a ship. And so, hey, you know, that, that probably takes a half an hour or 45 minutes when they do that. So you're pretty much stuck. You just got to be there. So um, we got up. We were about five cars from the front when they opened the bridge. So we we were right there. If we got a little sooner, we'd gotten across, but we got held up and stopped by the bridge opening. Anyway, we sit there, I cut my truck off, and we sit there, roll the windows down. It was a good breeze blowing, a real tall bridge. And so we looked down there, and we saw the ship coming, and it's uh, they, they, uh, the uh, Yorktown Naval Weapons Station, that's where all the ships get their weapons from. They put on various frigates and aircraft carriers or what and so uh, anyway the ship uh was coming down and it came through the uh, came came through the bridge and we looked at it down yonder and so uh, anyway the bell started going off and the bridge was going to the bridge this is not a draw bridge this way it's a swing bridge it swings open and so it started it started to close and so finally we're going to get on our way so I'm looking in the rear view mirror, and I got <clears throat> I got miles of traffic behind me backed up. I mean, this is just backed up. And so uh, anyway, sit there, turn the key to the truck. Nothing, nothing. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my god, turn it again. I click, click. So uh, and we're we're up on top of the bridge, and so. Anyway, I said, oh, my gosh, what a place to have a breakdown. And people behind us blowing horns and all that. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we get out, raise the hood like we know what we're doing and everything. 
And uh, Tom says, what do, you, what do you think we ought to do? I said, well, we got two choices. We can either uh, sit here and wait and put up with people being um, inconvenienced because my truck has broke down, or we can just go and do the right thing and jump overboard and be, <laughs> be done with it. You know, but and so we, we decided not to do that. But anyway, three vehicles in front of me. There is a funeral home van, funeral home van, white funeral home from North Carolina. And so the gentleman, he backs up. I'm sitting there holding up traffic so he can back up next to me. And he asked me, he said, you have jumper cables? I said, yeah, I got some jumper cables. So. We sit there and hooked up the jumper cables. People still blowing their horns, passing me on the show on the on, on one side, and uh, finally got it started. Got it started and got off the bridge. Got home after about two and a half hours of uh, putting up with that. But the gentleman from North Carolina in the funeral funeral van, uh, he he was very very kind to do what he did, and so to get me out of that. I guess if because I don't know where you are, but where we are. We, we'd probably still be sitting there because people don't want to help you. Um, but anyway, that's what happened to me this past Friday evening. So anyway, I had to go get a new battery for the truck and everything, but everything turned out fine. So anyway, that's my little story of what happened to me Friday that if any of you I think you're interested in it. But anyway, if you are, I mean, it's a good story. It's a good story. The best part of it, I think, is a funeral van. Um, on my teleprompter, here, what else we got? That's about it for this week. I'm going to continue on with Orleans. Um, uh, next week, I'm going to show you a couple other projects that I think I'm going to be working on after Orleans and show you the sketches I've got to, uh, uh, start those. So anyway, until the next time, I wish all of you well. I hope all of you are getting a lot of stitching done. If you get some stitching, send it to me. Let me see what you're doing. I want to see what you've done. I mean, I know I know that people that watch something like this obviously have stitched something. And I just, why would you turn on this channel and look at me if you're not having stitched something, haven't done something? Send me a picture so I can put it up there. And I would really appreciate it. And I know the folks that watch this would like to see what you're doing. And so even if it's not my design, somebody else's design, I'll show it. Let me, let's see what's going on. Um, uh, what else? My office, it's about the same. Haven't done anything in my office, as you can readily tell. So, but until next time, keep stitching, go outside, get some fresh air, get plenty of exercise. And until then, the one thing I tell you is I tell you every single time I see you, until next time, be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.